So Sandra Fluck introduced President Obama at a campaign stop in Colorado. Fluck has been a left-wing poster child since she demanded free birth control pills from Catholic institutions. Never mind the pills are cheaper than a basic cell phone bill. The left still hoists her up. But in the limelight again, she begs comparison to someone who, to me, is so much unlike her, it's scary. I speak of Rachel, the Chick-fil-A employee who was harassed by that chucklehead, Adam Smith. For starters, one makes a living demanding something, the other earns her wage offering something. One condemns opponents as purveyors of discrimination, the other forgives those who abuse her. One gets a free ride from the liberal press, one will be ignored, of course, by the same. And one will likely get a job in the media, the other one knows real work. That's it, really. Now, I bet Sandra thinks what she does is important. Mm. And Rachel, by comparison, seems less heroic. After all, she's never been invited to speak before congressional committees. And she probably never read Naomi Wolf. But alas, Rachel holds down a real job dealing with true adversaries in untenable positions. No time at all for greeting the president. So, yeah, Rachel's nothing like Sandra, which is why the media has no idea who Rachel is and never will. Lucky Rachel. Fact is, Rachel's are our country's lifeblood even if they aren't on Obama's speed dial.